Hey folks, welcome back to Stay Ahead TV. I'm your host, Austin Wright, chatting with Chief Technology Officer Robert Wiseman. Robert, how are you doing today? I'm good, Austin, thanks. Fantastic. Now, you've not just worked for Sabre, you worked for Orbitz, other GDSs in the marketplace, and I kind of want to get your perspective on what is the value of a GDS in, in the travel industry today? Well, well it's fairly significant. Um, from a shopping perspective, uh, the numbers of messages that we support for pure shopping transactions, so somebody gets on a website or they call a travel agent or whatever, and does a call to make a shopping request, you know, we process, we have about a thousand servers handling just shopping transactions. If we didn't have that in place and those, those requests, whether availability calls or shopping calls, would hit directly the airline system, it would be a fairly significant impact and cost on those systems. When I was at Orbitz, I was in charge of GDS Bypass. In fact, I was responsible for creating the first GDS Bypass for Orbitz because it was actually created to create a competitive position to the GDSs. And while the technology did its thing initially, um, we understood the, the potential clumsiness of a solution like that, the point solutions that that involved, and really the short-term view of being able to scale out a, a one-off solution like an Orbitz Direct Connect option. And so certainly the GDSs provide very great value to not only the suppliers, but also the consumers. Because in its simplest sense, the GDSs present a marketplace for suppliers of content, consumers of content to come together and transact their businesses. And we do that at massive scale, 60,000 transactions a second, you know, a billion API calls a day, you know, thousands of transactions to support shopping requests a second. And I guess then efficiency, transparency is just kind of the major goal for everything that you do. Yeah, and, and also it provides a single shopping place. I mean, imagine that if you wanted to, uh, you know, to, to buy any particular product from a grocery store, but you could only get um, certain kind of dog food, and you have to go to an each, each different store to, get, to look at a different type of dog yeah. food, the amount of time that would take would be ridiculous, right? Problematic. So we create a one-stop shop for people to come and look and compare different suppliers' prices and content within a single viewpoint. That sounds fantastic to me, very good. Well, thank you, Robert, for your time today. I appreciate it. All right, folks, uh, thanks again for joining us today on Stay Ahead. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.